Hey guys, Ed Hopkins here with the Ultimate Closing Machine. Hey, we just got some new features in and we're working on some more, but let me show you what you, we have so far. Um, first of all, inside of your schedules, now you have the option, for example, if you want to set up webinars for salesmen that are in your company, um, you can actually create schedules for each one of those salesmen and put their email in here so anytime a question is asked live in the webinar that question will go directly to the salesman live and, and be reported as a lead um, also you can disable and enable the phone number on the registration form by simply clicking on that number now this is going to be important as we go forward into developing the system because eventually what's going to happen is we're going to have a mobile platform where customers can watch the webinars live on their mobile phone but also get an SMS notification. So this is going to work out in the future, but you can still collect that data um, just for your own personal needs. Uh, next, we have the live webinar system. Essentially how this works is, for example, you check off live event, then it asks for a YouTube embed URL. All you're going to do is go to YouTube, then you're going to want to find the live event which you've uh, already set up through your Google Hangouts and then you want to grab the embed code but actually you're not grabbing the code you're grabbing just the link in here between these quotations copy that then you're gonna jump back up here and then you're gonna paste it now for some reason YouTube always just gives you the hashes without the HTTP you're gonna want to keep that and just paste it in there and now you've set up a live webinar link inside the system. Um, you'll be able to run webinars live. Um, just be cognizant that since webinars you don't know when they're going to end, always set your start time and end time um, for maybe like two hours. If you're doing like an hour and 30 webinar plan, set it for two hours so uh, the system won't close on the customer while they're inside the chat. Or excuse me, inside the webinar. Uh, next instead of our notification settings here we've added this send replay which you can send after the webinar is over and what that'll do is let's say my webinar started at 8 o'clock and I want it two hours after end it'll actually go out two hours after the end of the webinar so at 8 o'clock ended at let's say 9 o'clock that webinar will be sent that replay will be sent at 11 p.m. so always keep that in mind next we've added the AR so on registration you can uh, get users over into your email autoresponder system. Now, I want you to keep in mind this takes raw form code. And here, I'm going to show you an example here because many people on other systems we've created keep on throwing JavaScript code in here and it totally destroys because it's non compliant code. Um, most of it, the, how they design that code, is all non compliant so our server can't read it. And I'm going to show you a good code and a bad code. Here, I'm showing you an example of garbage code. This is from Get Response. It is totally non-compliant HTML5. It'll never work. It has script in it. You cannot upload anything that has a script. Um, also, there are certain span classes that are non-compliant as well. Uh, I'll try to point one out here for it. Here's another example of non-compliant code. Um, we have the input class, which is our actual form field. You can't have an ending input tag for input that is non-compliant code so if your uh, provider, AR provider, is providing this as a closing tag for input it's going to totally kill and we're not going to be able to detect the inputs. I'm going to show you the proper way an input field should appear on raw HTML code. So I'm running uh, HTML5 editor here I'm going to throw in an HTML5 input box and there you see there, there's no closing input tag. So if your host is adding those input tags, it's not going to be compliant with us. You're going to have to ask them to create compliant code for you. Um, so far, the most compliant code we've seen is from AWeber. And I'm going to show you an example raw HTML form uh, code from AWeber. Now, inside of your AWeber, for example, you want to select raw HTML version. You want to uncheck include beautiful form styles dot, dot, dot. You want to get rid of all that garbage. 
Um, we just want the nitty gritty, which is the actual form code itself, so we can convey all that data. We'll still detect all this stuff and remove it, um, but just to be on the safe side, always uncheck that so we can read that code correctly. Now, by unchecking that box, the raw code will look something like this, and they'll be line by line, and then I'll have inputs that look like this. Just simply grab all the code that it gives you, and then you're going to put that code inside of this box and then it should automatically detect it and then when your re uh, customer registers on the register form it'll automatically send that that registrant over to the AWeber AR list that you have selected over there and created over there um, to handle this list so that's another feature we've added inside of our webinars another new feature we've added if I go to one of my webinars here hopefully it'll take me to the replay page um, we have added the uh, J player um, and what this does is it's reverse compatible so if a customer comes to the webinar and their browser can't handle HTML5 it'll try to force using flash as inside of the video pane here and same for those that don't have flash it'll try to push HTML5 so um, always be cognizant of that users should only be trying to access your webinar page from a computer whether it be a PC or a Mac and then on the replay page it's always going to have this nice looking uh, play and pause panel in the next video here maybe in a day or so I will show you guys how to set up a Google Hangout live webinar with YouTube because um, as, as I said earlier uh, we do have the ability now to run live webinars using this system and it's rather easy to do um, hopefully I have that get out to you guys probably here in the next couple days um, but for now uh, what we got coming up next is we're gonna be having some split testing campaigns we're gonna work on the uh, the drip answers and questions that go into the chat live webinar uh, we're gonna make it so we can actually push during the chat admin chat and uh, one more thing uh, we're working on another module too which will allow us to push a registration link and then when the user gets that link no matter when they get to that link it's always going to say a webinar is starting in two hours or one hour whatever you have it set for it's going to cookie the machine and if they miss that webinar and try to re-register it's going to detect that and not allow them to register again um, so what's going to happen is they're going to get back to that page if they miss that webinar and it's going to ask them to register for the next day or maybe maybe even further hours out to make it f appear like hey we're just not running webinars in here in the middle of the night um, it's just run during no uh, normal business hours so you always want to give the impression that you're running a live webinar and obviously most people don't stay up late at night like me <laughs> and that's how uh, that's going to be structured so look out for those things uh, coming here in the next couple days uh, but enjoy version 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, we're going to constantly improve this product um, so it's top tier. Right now, if you compare us to any of the other systems that are out there, this is the only one that can really pull off a fake webinar as a live webinar. All the other ones, and I won't name names, and there's even, even one out there that has a new quote unquote update, which is supposed to make it better, it still looks like garbage. It looks nothing like ultimate closing machine we actually pull it off all they're pulling off is just an ugly page that looks like a sales page with fake names on the sidebar it just appears to be so 1990 ish um, it's stuff that you can't pass off anymore in this day and age so this is Ed signing off and then uh, the next training will be the Google Hangouts